name is Teresa Wagner with Wags and Tails Maltese. We've been breeding Maltese approximately six years now. This is little Frankie, um, formal name Frank Sinatra. He is from our latest litter and 10 weeks old right now. His litter mates just left to their new homes, so uh, he's enjoying all, all the one-on-one -on -one attention now. And yeah, he's going to have a nice little life. <laughs> The, uh, breeding Maltese and uh, bring, being a dog breeder in itself is very rewarding. There's a lot of pros and cons. I would love to sit down with somebody that is just going to start out or even thinks about it because there are a lot of hard times, a lot of decisions you have to make. And it's a lifetime commitment, but the, it's very rewarding when you see a family leaving with a, a good match and you get these letters and uh, phone calls and emails on what a joy that it brings and uh, to see people standing here holding their new puppy and they are in tears because it's such a good match and it, it's what they really needed for their family. Uh, that's extremely rewarding. Their first inspection he made an arrangement to come for you know a day that was actually convenient for me that worked out nice. I thought I knew pretty much what I was uh, required of, but during that inspection, um, the inspector would point out little things that were very helpful. Um, it, it's not just rules, it was actually very beneficial to have um, everything labeled and um, organized, and uh, it, was, it was helpful for me to see that there was actually a structure that I could follow. There are, of course, three ways you could identify your dogs. Um, we do require on-dog identification, and that can be a collar and a tag, um, a tattoo, or a microchip. You know, any of those three methods are acceptable. And let's see that he has his DNA profile number recorded, and all of his little breeding records are very good. And I notice it looks like, are you using um, online record keeping? Have you found that useful? I have, because when I go to register another litter, every, all the information just mm -hmm. pops right up. Excellent. I don't have to keep putting it in. Good. But I look forward to the inspections because I'm always trying to improve. I think we've implemented every one of those suggestions because, you know, there's, there's really not one particular type of kennel or, you know, instructions on how to do it from step one. But from an inspector's point of view, they see many other breeders and they see what works well, what doesn't.